Hello, I'm Mike Parker, the Tree Fruit Extension Specialist with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service at North Carolina State University. Today we're at the Sand Hills Research Station in Jackson Springs, North Carolina to look at how we would plant, prune, and maintain peach trees. We are going to discuss today properly planting a peach tree. One of the first considerations when planting peach trees is to select a site. Sunlight is one of the key criteria when we select a site, so we want to select an area that is wide open, that receives full sunlight throughout the day, stay uh, quite a ways away from fence rows and tall trees that will shade the trees during the growing season. We also want to look at the soil characteristics. And for that, in North Carolina and our light sandier soils, we're concerned about nematodes. Those can be analyzed by the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. We use a soil probe. We will pull 15 to 20 samples from the area to be planted. We'll put them into a plastic bag. And with the plastic bag, we will put it in a box and send off to the Department of Agriculture for analysis. With that same soil sample, we can also take a box or a pint to be analyzed for nutrient content. In North Carolina, one of the main criteria we're looking at is soil acidity or the pH of the soil. So you'll, from your sample, you'll take a box full of soil, and then you'll send that off to the Department of Agriculture uh, for analysis. There are forms that will accompany these samples, the nematode sample, as well as the soil uh, nutrient content, bioassay, what you'll do is you'll take several samples, make sure that you notate where you sample with a code that you put on this sample form and keep it in your record so when the results come back, you'll know what needs to be done to modify your soil. Once we've identified our site, we've taken our soil samples and nematode analyses and modified the soil to approximately 18 inch depth, then we must dig the hole. We'll dig that approximately twice the size of the root system, both in width and in depth. On a hole dug with a shovel or with an auger, many times we will have a smooth wall that will act as a barrier to penetration to the surrounding soils. So what you do is when you're done with the hole, take a shovel and just scar up the wall so it's no longer smooth that will allow easy root penetration into the surrounding soil. We are planting this tree today in light sandy soils, which can be very easily done with a hand shovel. Our growers that plant many number of trees will use a subsoil shank that they will till a furrow down the tree row, then they'll go perpendicular to that and where those subsoil shanks intersect is where they'll dig the hole to plant their trees. For growers planting trees in heavier soils, many times an auger is used on the back of a tractor. An auger approximately 18 inches wide will drill a hole approximately two and a half foot deep in which the tree will be planted. For growers planting many acres of trees, a tree planter will be used. A tree planter is an instrument that's attached to the back of a tractor basically a plow that growers sit behind there and drop their trees into that furrow as a tractor moves continuously down the tree row. When purchasing trees, you can buy bare roots trees which will come to you with the roots exposed. Many times they'll be wrapped in a moist media of sawdust or possibly paper, shredded paper. You can buy large trees or smaller trees. But one of the things you will, key criteria you want to look at is where the graft union. All of the fruit trees that we plant are grafted. They have a root system with a variety grafted on top and you must know where that graft union is when planting your tree. The way to identify the graft union is to start at the base of the tree and move up. There may be a juncture where the tree sort of jags a bit, or there may be an area where the bark changes colors. Many times that will be in a diagonal cut, or there may be even a V-shape where the graft union has taken place. The tree we are planting today is a bare root tree. However, you can purchase trees in a pot and plant those as well. When planting bare root trees, you need to plant them in the dormant season to allow the root system to settle in before the growth starts in the spring. With trees that come in a pot, those can be planted at any time. However, care must be taken when the plant is pulled out of the pot to cut through the root system to disturb any roots that may be circling the pot that will continue to grow and strangle the tree over time. Once we have our tree, we identify the graft union, dig our hole so that it's much deeper, but the graft union will remain two inches above the soil surface once the tree has been planted and settled. Once we place soil in the hole, we will come in and firm the soil. Identifying our graft union is here, so we're still in good shape, so we may hold the tree here while we'll press the soil around it. Okay, 
Again, a graft union is two to three inches above the soil, which will allow for some settling to occur once the tree is watered in. Once we have planted the tree, we will then water the tree thoroughly around the base. Once the soil is settled, we'll apply a light application of fertilizer around the base. We will go around the edge of the hole, spreading the fertilizer in and out, but making sure to keep it off the trunk of the tree where it may burn the tree. In larger scale plantings, at this time an irrigation system would be installed, either a drip or micro sprinkler irrigation. Peach trees need to be irrigated during the growing season after planting. Water them frequently, allowing the soil to dry out in between applications. After we have planted our trees, in many cases we'll come in and paint the bottom 18 inches of the tree white. This is done with a white latex paint. Make sure white latex paint is used. If an oil base is used, it'll kill the tree. This is to help protect the tree from possible sun scald during the summer or late winter, and also to protect the tree if herbicides are applied to the base of the tree.